Okay, so here we are. So today we're gonna to talk to you about three shots that you can hit with your cutter wedge. So the shots we're gonna to hit today are gonna to be from the long rough. Do you remember the other two? Short rough. And short greenside shots. All right, here we go. Here's our, here's our shot we're gonna play, okay? And it's actually gonna be a little downhill shot too. It's gonna to be a lot of fun. So here's the thing. When we're playing these shots from the heavy rough, the long rough, it's tough because you don't know if you're gonna catch a lot of ball, if you're gonna catch a little ball, and so there's indecision as to what you're gonna do, and it seems like whenever you swing real hard, you get all ball, boom, it goes flying, and then if you get too cute with it, you leave it in the, in the, in the long stuff, okay? So um, here, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to do it with the cutter wedge. And the thing about it is this, is that if you look at the club itself, see how the, the leading edge of it is actually, it, it, it's like pointed almost, like it's ready to cut through the grass. Then the other thing about it is it's got all this weight down in the bottom part of the club, so it's got a really low center of gravity, so it's gonna want that ball to pop up out of this stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna expect, I, I know that I'm going to strike the grass before I get to the ball, but I'm gonna go ahead and just get that leading edge of the club, actually just keep driving right down underneath the ball, all right? So I'm gonna put weight on my front foot, and I'm gonna go ahead and assertively strike down through it, all right? Here we go. Weight on my front foot. Finishing on my front foot. Got it? So it landed right about the middle of the green and ran up towards the back of the green. All right, now, now a couple little pointers on this is that oftentimes when people are working on hitting these shots, they know they want, they want to get the ball up in the air. They'll play these shots with their weight moving into their back foot. We don't want to do that because that's going to make the club come up as it gets to the ball and you're going to blade it. All right, so one more time, weight on my front foot. I'm going to go ahead and tilt. Notice I'm tilted back, and then I get more into my front foot. There we go, right out. Almost like the first one. All right, Lauren, come over here and give it a try. Come on over. So Lauren had her best round ever today. Shot 79, used her cutter wedge. A lot. A lot, so congratulations. Thank you. So one of the things when you were hitting balls out of the bunker, and I, I didn't want to say it to you in the round, but you weren't always really moving weight forward. Sometimes you were coming back a little bit. Okay. So you got to really make sure you, you drive forward on this. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Right out. Let's hit one more, all right? All right, let's get down in that. Where's the ball? Can you point it out? All right. You got it? It's way down in there. All right, let's do it. Good, you went forward with it, good. Yeah. Great shot, whoop. Great, very good. What'd you think of that? It was pretty good. Yeah? Did Am you I Am I expecting a lot of loft, though, on that kind of shot? So, so yeah, so that's a great point. So that ball came out and it kind of rolled out a little bit. Yeah. Right. So what do you think you'd do if you wanted to get it to come out and not roll so much? Hit more down on the ball? Well, you've already got a downhill lie, so that's going to take loft off the club. So the other thing you can do, and I wasn't really necessarily intending on get making this this long, but the other thing you can do is you can you can open the face up a little bit and put more loft on the on the shot, and that's one of the things about this club. And a lot of, you know, a lot of these, um, you know, a lot of clubs that you see that aren't conventional don't have a lot of versatility, but the cutter wedge does. So you can open up that face, add more loft, and hit this shot higher. So let's see if I can do that. So I'm just I'm just rotating the, the club face on my hands a little bit, and I am going to aim my feet a little bit more to the left now. Let's see if we get this to come out a little bit higher. And then when I finish, by the way, I'm going to finish with my club face pointing more towards the sky. So I'm going to try to keep that face open. See that? So that was much higher and softer. That's not going to roll to the back of the green. Great question. All right, so now we're going to go 
We're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna cut over to hitting shots out of short rough. So this should be easy, right? All right, so after that shot, this is gonna be easy. This is light rough. I can't tell you how much confidence I already have in this shot. So again, the thing is, is that you've got the, the front of the leading edge here, instead of being flat across, comes to a point. You've got the low center of gravity. Club face is much bigger than any other wedge that I've ever seen. So this should be a piece of cake. So I'm gonna set up here with this ball positioned. I'm gonna go more this way so you can see from the camera. I'm, I'm gonna set up with this ball positioned about the middle of my stance because I'm not looking to hit a super high soft shot. So in the middle of stance, I'm gonna take a practice swing. I'm gonna move more pressure onto my front foot. And I'm just gonna take a little back swing and make sure I accelerate through on the downswing. So I'm gonna to try to land this just over here in that fringe, okay? Piece of cake. All right, piece of cake. So again, Lauren, if I wanna hit a high soft shot, I'm going to open the club face up a little bit and all it's gonna do is by opening that club face, it's gonna add more loft. And what's great about this is that the bounce on the club, a lot of it's back here. The leading edge of the club doesn't come way up. I'm not gonna blade it or anything. And because I'm opening my club face and pointing my club face to the right, and I'm doing that by just kind of leaning the handle back, I'm gonna adjust my feet to the left a little bit. So we'll let that, that weight in the bottom of the club and let that nice leading edge just cut right through the grass. Look at that. Easy. Really, really, really easy. You know, whenever you can putt it, definitely you should putt it. But the times when you can't, the club is really making it easy. You wanna come try it out, Lauren? Yeah. All right. Show us how it's done. You got your club there? So in the first hole today, on the first hole today, right over there, this is the course we played, you were how far out? Oh, we got video of it. 20 yards out maybe? Yeah, maybe not far out. A there. longer shot than this, mm -hmm. light rough. Yep. And so what did you do to hit that shot? Do you remember? You know, I just, I really didn't think too much about it. I really kind of let the club do the work and that's how I, how, how I handled it most of the round today. I just trusted that with my good mechanics that it would get the job done and it did. So that's all you did, you just kind of trusted the club. Yeah, I trusted, oh. you know, what I've practiced. And, and you got off to a great start because you got, you got up and down there on that hole and made right. and four more confidence. pars in a row, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Good shot. So, so now let's hit one where you want the ball to hit the green and run out a little bit. So if you want the ball to hit the green and run out, you're gonna play it just with a, with a square club face. Okay. And that's all you gotta do. And instead of going up and landing soft, it's gonna hit and it's gonna run out a little bit. Okay. All right? So just square up the club face and hit it like, like a long putt. I mean, it's, it's easy. Okay. Just make sure the waist stays in the front foot. Good, great shot. Look at that ball go. So are you intrigued about this next shot? I am, I was really excited. Okay, so we're, we're gonna work on a short green side shot. And this is a shot you're gonna hit when you're really close to the hole, but you're not far off from the green and you need to get the ball up in the air fairly quickly and then back down. It's not a flop shot or anything, but it's just, it's just a short little shot and it really shows one of the ways that the club is so versatile, okay? All right, easiest shot in golf is a putt. So we wanna make this delicate little shot that could be difficult as easy as possible. So I'm gonna to try to use my wedge as if it was a putter, all right? And the thing is, so look, see how that we've got this like triangular shape here sort of? So here's the ground. I can just, I can just lean that club like this and boom, it works like a putter, right? Just like a putter. So I'm gonna grip down so that my, I'm touching the metal of the club and I'm just gonna putt this ball. I am gonna, I am gonna have a little more weight in my front foot. Sternum gets forward a little bit. Oh. 
We're not, all right, sorry. That's still a pretty good shot, right? Most people would take that, wouldn't they? Would you say, Lauren? I would take it. So I go, look, look, back, strike. Come on. A uh, little bit of practice is all it takes. All right, so I want you to come over here and do it, Lauren, okay? So the one little thing here is I want you to just make sure that you're really favoring weight in your front foot. Mm -hmm. Yep, not, not quite that much. And you don't have to have your head go forward as much as just your, your kind of hips bump forward a little okay. bit. Okay. Good. I'm kind of glad you didn't make that. Hey, I still got two more chances. <laughs> All right, knock it in. Uh-oh, 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 oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Good shot nonetheless, good shot. So we hope you found that helpful. Don't forget to subscribe so you see the next couple videos that we're gonna make. Don't forget to also leave your comments below. What kind of shots are you struggling with? We're gonna try to help you with those. And hit the little bell. You gotta hit the little bell to get notified of new videos now. Oh, okay. We'll it's see you next time, thank you. Enough gnats for you tonight? Yes. You think we should call it Nat, Natsboro, North Carolina? No. Nat Town? Dad jokes. Nats? Okay. All right. And cut.